All right, boys and girls, welcome to the cockpit of 670 Mike Alpha. Discovery flight, Reggie. How's it going? This is this is the big man. In the back, you've got an even bigger man. <laughs> <laughs> Physically. <laughs> JD's back, Woo! boys and girls. Let's He's go. <laughs> I have my own camera here. <laughs> last, last time we flew was a Cessna. I think it was over a year ago. Yeah, dude, that was last year. Yeah. He, uh, wow. he, he hopped into a Cessna and uh, landed it really well. Go watch the video, I'll link it for you. But this is Reggie. This is your first ever time flying an aircraft, right? Ever, yes. Okay, but you've jumped out of one before. Yeah, that was fun, skydiving, yep. There you go, figure that one out. I, I was asking him if he's gonna be sick on this flight and he's already done that, so that's not gonna be a problem. So, discovery flight. Um, I like to do discovery flights a little bit uh, differently than a lot of other places. I feel like a lot of other places treat it as a money-making exercise. I treat it as an exercise to get the student in control and teach them the very basics of what we do. Uh, I feel like that's what a discovery flight is. And, and most of all, to go up and have fun. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. Are you excited? Super, yeah. Really excited? Had a hard time sleeping last night. Also. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. He was watching like aviation videos last uh, last night oh, no to, way. Get, to get in the mental headspace for it. Yeah. Who are you watching? Who is he watching? Oh, I was just thinking uh, about uh, Ludix Aviation, of course. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, we're going to go up and we're going to have a really, really good time. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! What the f***? Why did you tell me to come up and get me out? Welcome to Ludix Aviation, the home of fun-filled aviation videos. I invite you to like, subscribe, and enjoy the flight as I welcome you to the sky. Ludix Aviation videos are edited to be as entertaining as possible. This may remove context. Many procedures, situations, explanations, and flight phases have been edited out. Do not use for instructional purposes. This video is for entertainment purposes only. This is how it's going to go. So you're going to do the takeoff, all right? Whenever we're flying, we deal with airspeeds, okay? We, we fly the aircraft based on airspeeds. So what we're looking for on the takeoff, I've, I'll have the, the center line control with the pedals. You're going to hold this with your left hand, okay? Once you see... Uh, the airspeed hit 55, you're going to slowly pull back on this. It's not a big yank. It's just a slow pull back and let the aircraft come up when it wants to come up. Uh, once it does come up, we're going to try and avoid lifting the nose up so, to, so it doesn't uh, go too high. That's going to cause a stall. And I'll give you instruction as we're doing it um, because we're looking for the climb to maintain around 80 knots. And I'll help you with it. I know that's, that's a lot of information at the moment. All right, that's closed, that's closed. We're on tower and we got a guy coming there. Are you aware of his presence besides visual? Uh, I mean, you can do. You see he's here. He's okay, that yeah. little arrow right there. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, so, Sky X670, Mike Alpha, watch Johnny 15, ready for departure. Close that window for me if you could. 670, Mike Alpha, runway 15, clear for takeoff on course. Clear for takeoff on course, runway 15, 670, Mike Alpha. All right, man, left hand on the yoke, right hand on this. Just leave the uh, this where it is for now, but keep your hand on it. Tower, gear 34332, three, get ready for departure. All right, man. One five's on the ground. We're on the correct runway. Slowly apply full power, so slowly push that all the way in. There you go. All right, we're rolling. All the way in, all the way, all way in, all the way in, all the way in. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Beautiful, man. Glorious. Five knots, right? 55 knots, exactly. Start uh, pulling it back. Okay, slowly start to pull back. Just a little bit of pull back, a little bit of pull back. Welcome to the sky, my friend. Welcome to the sky. So then just push the nose forward a little bit. Don't want to stall it. Now when you lower the nose, the airspeed's going to increase. On course southwest, I'm just remain south of the water tower. If you would please, I got traffic departing 24. Hi, Roger. South of the water tower and on course for 670, Mike. Oh, thanks. Beautiful, man. So you see how we lowered the nose a little bit and the airspeed increased to around 80? Yeah. How did you load the nose? Just push, push forward. So you got your hand here, you just push and pull, push and pull. Beautiful, man. First ever take off. Hey, let's yes, go. Man, I actually thought I was going to kill you guys. I'm like, no, I, no I don't know how much control you really have. I'm like, yo, this guy's crazy. I don't know what he thinks I can do. <laughs> hey, you just proved to us that you can do it. All right, we're going to turn over this way a little bit. So you're doing exactly right. Just give, give yourself a little bit of bank. There you go, just like that. You don't need to hold the bank in there. You can then re return this to level, and you see that it just does its thing. Yes. Easy. There you go. There you go. Ah, nice, nice. Smooth control. And then you see what you're doing. You're maintaining close to 80 knots, which is perfect, man. That's glorious.
Dude, this is crazy. I feel like, like a seven-year-old that can't see past the can't see shit. <laughs> well, that's the thing. So we're in a climb, so the nose is high. Yes. When, we, when we level up, when we level off, you'll be able to see. So the technique, really, when you're climbing, is to every so often to lower the nose. So if you if you lower it, push forward. Lower it so you can kind of see over it to see any traffic. We see no traffic, so then you can pull it back up again. That's the that's the technique. Hey, so. You never taught me that. <laughs> <laughs> Head inside, JD. <laughs> Blue dicks exposed. <laughs> now, actually, let's level off here. So the level off procedure is you're going to push the nose down until you've got a horizon that's above this. Now it's going to take quite a bit of pressure. But do the level off procedure. Beautiful, beautiful. Right there, right there. Hold it right there. So you feel like you've got to put a lot of pressure in, right? Yeah. So there's two things working against you: trim and power. So let's put a, pa uh, a power setting in there that's good for crew. So you're going to pull this back until this needle is around 21. And at the same time, don't let that nose rise, because that's going to cause us to climb. So you're just going to hold it in position right there. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Very nice control. So now you feel it doesn't want to uh, pull back on you. Uh, so take your hands off the controls and see what it does. So the nose rises, okay? So that's a trim issue. We've set the power. Now we need to trim. Now what trim does is allows us to remove the control pressures. That's what this wheel is for. So when you need to trim down, if you're putting forward pressure in to hold it, you're going to roll the, the wheel up. So roll it up until you're not feeling pressures on this anymore. And I'm going to kind of feel it with you. It's going down, right? Opposite, opposite direction. So you're just finding that balance. Jesus Christ. So you should be able to go hands off and the aircraft should fly itself. Go hands off. Yeah, you're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're pretty much there. Now we did climb a little bit. All right, uh, that's not happening. Shut the f up. We, we did climb a little bit because we were, you know, obviously, you know, the first time you've ever done that. <laughs> You're doing it, brother. That's it. Yeah, that's cool. Good work. That's it. All right, engine failure, where are we landing? <laughs> <laughs> I, will sh I will show you that in a little bit, actually. Okay. We will do that. Uh, so I have a question. Yeah, um, man. When you're in the skies, are there like roads to you pilots? Like, aren't there guidelines you should be following? I feel like right now I'm like some crazy drunken bastard just plowing <laughs> through lanes. I'm, I'm a little nervous, I don't want to get in trouble. Well, that's that's a really good question, man. So there are GPS waypoints that people fly by. Um, however, in this type of flying that we're doing today, this is what we call VFR, visual flight rules. So we are responsible for making sure that we're, you know, not changing lanes stupidly and for doing stupid shit. Like, Keep we, an eye out for traffic. There's, an, there's an aircraft down there which shows at the same altitude, which I've got in sight. So that's right kind of the cloud. kind of what we do. Now, there, there are different flight rules, if uh, IFR, instrument flight rules, which is more structured. So you'll be routed by ATC, air traffic control, uh, to different points, you know, in the GPS or, or using your navigation equipment. But that's why a good knowledge that's why I said before the flight, like the, the ground studying is just as, if not more important than the flying, because you have to have the knowledge of the airspace, you have to have a knowledge of the aircraft and what you can and cannot do, the rules, the operating rules. So that's where it comes in. Like for example, if you see on here, there's a four, four, that 40, yeah. uh, that says that there's a 4,000 foot airspace layer above us here. So we can't oh, go we can't above yeah. 4,000 feet without a clearance. So, again, knowledge of the airspace that you're flying in. So, you see this leg? Yep. Head that direction. So, I want you to maintain 2,000 feet. See how it's climbing a little bit? Yeah. So, what would you do? Alright, I could uh, maybe push... There you go. What I am seeing is the power setting has gone up a little bit. Oh, so yes. you could bring that back to 21. That's probably what's uh, what's done it. Getting more airflow, which is more lift, so it wants to uh, rise. Yeah. And then, con uh, you know, on the other side of that, if you pull the power back. In fact, pull the power back. All right. See what the aircraft does. Oh! See how it drops? Yeah. So it's your job to hold the nose up to stop it from dropping. Ah. Uh, yeah. yeah. The up. Exactly. Now, what's going to happen there? Hold it back a little bit more. Now what's going to happen there is you're trading, when you've got no power, you're trading that uh, that pullback for airspeed. So you see how your airspeed's dropping? To increase that airspeed again, the only thing you can do is descend like that. Exactly, so it's rising again. So now you're going to recover from that by pushing the power back to 2100. And simultaneously, they're pulling the nose up a little bit. It should do it naturally. 
Well, there you go. The nose is coming back up, and you'll find uh, an equilibrium again. So whatever you need on the trim, you can play with the trim if you need it. But I want you to trim it out so it's level and we're not descending or climbing. All right. So figure that out while I fondle this guy. Oh, yeah, right there. <laughs> I think right there. Looks pretty good. You got it? Take your hands off the, and see what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, his hands are off. Okay. See what it's doing, let it get, find its equilibrium. Yeah, it's pretty much got it, man. Good job, man. Good job with this. Turn back around to the north. So you see how we're on the south. Now you're going to make a right turn. We're clear to the right. And just give a nice, easy turn to uh, to the north. Now, in a turn, you may need, which actually it seems like you don't need it, a little bit of pullback on the controls to maintain altitude. Uh, if you steepen it up a little bit, so steepen the turn, you'll feel... The, the nose kind of wants to drop away from you. It's starting to cut away oh, yeah, now, yeah, yeah, so it's really. dropping. So as you steepen it up, you'll need a little bit more. There you go. Uh, just like that. Exactly. And welcome to steep turns. Like <laughs> that's it, yeah. That's it. That's <laughs> it. That's like I'm almost more <laughs> nearly a steep turn. We'll level out, and we'll go direct north. So pick something out there that you want to fly to, and, uh, and fly oh, that. a lake, out. actually. Do that. That's perfect. I like lakes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <it's laughs> we climbed 200 feet in that uh, in that oh. turn, but that's because I was showing you the the, the thing. So come on, no Reggie! Come on, Reggie! Yeah, come on, Reggie! Stop f***ing it up! You got it! I got to Watch this! You got Look it, at you that! Got it. <laughs> I'm gonna find the. Uh, I was gonna try and do a British accent, but I was gonna say <laughs> I'm gonna try and find the equal liberty. I, I can't. I can't. I'm so opposite of Brit. <laughs> <laughs> we must find the equilibrium in the ambient air. Oh my God! <laughs> You're doing everything really nicely. Uh, it's nice and smooth, so for passengers, if passengers are on board, which we do have a fat one in the back. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say we're climbing to? Uh, 3,000 feet, attention. so we're at Pay 25. Attention. Pay attention. <laughs> come on. Hey, come on, come man. On, man. <laughs> so much going on right now for him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. It's tough, but you're doing a great job, man. Yeah, man. You're doing a really good. nice job. It's not easy. Level it off at 3,000 feet. I'm going to say nothing. I'm going to let you figure it all out to maintain 3,000 feet. Okay. All right, I think we have approached 3,000. Let me get a little more, because I feel like I might leveling off. Don't forget your power. You're not I, supposed it's, to say it's anything. Your, it's your subconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Finally pay your bills. <laughs> I want you eventually to be at 3,000 feet dead on. OK, well, I think I passed it. Passed Still it. climbing. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Just like your bills. Okay. <laughs> Light little descent. OK, yeah, small man. descent. Yep, do you think? Do you think? Lower the power. <laughs> <laughs> Getting there, hold on. Yeah, man. As long as it takes. The more you f up, the more I get paid. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. oh, get us to 3,000! Get us to 3,000! <laughs> so, the one thing that I mentioned about the, the power, uh, sorry, the, uh, you know, the, the altitude and the, and the way that the aircraft is pitching, one was this, what was the other one? Uh, oh god, man. Ways I, I literally <laughs> probably just said it three minutes yeah, ago. Yeah. <sighs> you know what? I'm blanking. I oh, no worries, man. Yeah. No worries. The trim. Okay. That's. You know what? I know it doesn't count now. It's too late. But I was gonna say trim. I just. I <laughs> yeah. It out. Yeah. 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 See. Well, get a load of this We're guy. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to anticipate a little bit. See, right now you should already start leveling off, and yep. you pass it. Now you failed. Now we're dead. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was there doing that. I set the trim to put us See, but now you're going to start now. descending more, so level off again, again, again. <laughs> Find the sweet spot. Man, stop, it, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> sweet spot is running away from me. It's like it's just a I'm roller for the coaster. Plane to react and exactly. So I, I'll make an observation of what you're doing. So and this, is, this is exactly, honestly, it's perfect that this has happened, but it's completely wrong. Okay. <laughs> you're using the trim as a primary control. You're not controlling with this. You're using this to try and maintain the nose. What, the way that we work trim is we set what we want as far as a picture here. So we set this. We don't let it move from this. So regardless of what the aircraft wants to do, set this and then trim for it. So you're going to trim so you can take your hands off uh, the controls. So you keep the hands on the controls while you're doing that. Trim a little bit. So then you can go hands off and it stays where you need it. Okay. All right. I'm going to get 3,000 exactly. Yeah, man. Well, you, you so are because I, I just helped you. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just did it. You should have left it messed up for me. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, I'm going to show you how this thing glides. Yes, sir. Okay. What this is going to entail is me pulling the power wow. back. And what's going to happen is, again, like I showed you, once you pull the power back, the nose is going to want to drop. Yeah. Your job is to hold the nose back and we're trying to trim for 65 knots. Okay. So, again, I'll talk you through it, but as you're pulling the nose back, the airspeed is going to drop. And then once you hit 65, you can relieve the pressure a little bit and then trim for that. So I'll, I'll kind of help you out with it. So pull this all the way back nice and slow. All right. Nice and slow. 
Right, your job is don't let the nose drop too much. So you're doing a good job at the moment holding it kind of uh, kind of level. Uh, I pull it back all the way? All the way. All, all the way. The way. Okay. Yep, perfect. That, right there is fine. So you see the nose dropping, so just pull the nose up a little bit. And then you can start rolling the trim down, or the trim wheel down, to uh, kind of relieve the pressures as you're, uh, as that airspeed is dropping. Only flight experience I have is in Grand Theft Auto V. <laughs> <laughs> and right. in that game, obviously it's not a one-to-one -one, no, uh, simulator. This feels like in the game when you cut the engines, the plane feels like a rock and it falls out the sky. Right. That's not going to happen, right? No, no, not at all. All right, uh, good. And you just, you're proving it right now. Yeah, yeah. So we're gliding. This, this <laughs> is a glide. Now we're not quite at 65, so just pull the nose back up a little bit. Oh, we're, we're, actually, we're already getting a stall warning, so. <laughs> you see, <laughs> it's about to be GTA 5. Abort, yeah. abort, abort. <laughs> abort. Uh, go hands off. So it's, the nose still wants to come down a little bit, so trim back just a little bit more. Hands off. Now it's going up, okay. so find the, the equilibrium. So, I want to show you this. So like, you, you said, you, you know, the, the Grand Theft Auto drops like a brick. Yeah. Uh, that's the misconception in these light trainers, that they're just going to fall out the sky. They're not going to fall out the sky. You can see we're gliding just fine without any power. Now in this situation, if this was real, a real emergency procedure, this is the first thing that you do. You'd get it to a good glide, and then you'd choose a place that you want to land. Uh. And then you'd, uh, you'd try and restart. If you can't restart, you'd land in the, in the spot. Where would you land? Where would, where would you go if this was real? You know what? I mean, uh, we got to go to preserve the aircraft, I guess I'd try to land on the road over here. Okay. But, if I wasn't super confident in my ability, I'll be honest with you, I'm going to crash it straight into the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you want to die for real, man. That's, that's interesting to see a non-pilot's perspective of what to do, right? Ask me, ask me. Hey, <laughs> what would you do in this situation? Bro, you got to find a field right here. This one right here down here next to us on the left. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, right there. Very nice. Good yeah, job. I, I would continue right. this, go out a little, then turn around, and it's uh, airspeed, then best landing, checklist, and declare your emergency. Glorious. Now, just look at this. We've been talking that whole time. We're still at 1,500 feet. Yep. Yeah. You're gliding still. really nicely. This thing ain't going to drop. Yeah, bro. We are gliding. Dude, you're muscle. glorious. Beautiful, man. <laughs> sure. I was going to ask, just ask him, what do you think so far, man? Yeah, how you feeling? How it's you cool. Feeling? It's, um, there's a lot to take in. Like, obviously, yeah. you know, you give me the guidance. I can do, like, my little baby steps, but I know there's, like, a whole world that I just can't see. Right. And I think that's really fascinating, to be honest. Like, I know you're doing a lot of operation on side. Like, I know if, if I was in a, like, in a situation where I stole an aircraft or something, I think I would actually crash into another aircraft. <laughs> Even though it seems like the chances are so minuscule, I think I'll just be that. <laughs> You'd be the one to find it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the FAA, if you're watching, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if he's going to start, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, and that's the thing. You know, until you surround yourself with it and you start doing everything, you don't know what you don't know. But even just like you said, this little this little introduction has, has shown you a lot to, to kind of what it takes. And in all honesty, man, you've, you've controlled the aircraft really nicely. Yep. So... You've done a really nice job. Um, what we'll do is uh, we'll head back to the airport. I'll show you a couple of landings. Oh, okay. Uh, show you kind of how that works and in the traffic pattern, uh, all of that works. Uh, so I'll do the first one and the second one. Uh, you're going to do it. All right. Okay. Are you sure you're feeling okay? Yes, sir. You all right? Yeah, am but I gonna feel bad in a second? No, 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 not at all. <laughs> but you just got quiet. Just hold, hold, hold it, it there, and then pull back a little bit more as it drops. You just did your first landing. Hey! <laughs>